What is up, everyone? This is easy. Easy Street Gaming. Got another Brutal Age video. This is, we kind of split this video in half because not everyone can really get into the Elite Partners. This is on the uh, Elite Limited Era Partners. Uh, I've got a rundown of a bunch of different ones that you, you definitely want, but they're hard to get. And uh, on screen, I got a, a bunch that I have. You'll notice they're not really the right colors, but they're there. And, uh, and, uh, and then in the second half of the video, uh, one of my ongoing um, addictions is the tree man. I'm trying to get the, the biggest attack uh, of in the world on him. So we're working on that too. I got some pretty cool stuff at the end of the video. So let's just go right, right down to the, the current meta. For you'll notice that the current meta has all of the limited partners in it. It's got it's got red uh, Ursa Huntress, red Ursa Huntress, and uh, you build her with high speed and high attack, and she will pretty much completely take the, the green prince out of the game. Uh, this team is built really well. It, it has specific things that it does really well. Then you have uh, Green Tusk, which uh, he has a huge team buff, and he has a team attack. Usually build him with stun. And uh, he also hurts the blue parties really, really well. Then you have Blue Cha Cha. She has a, a, a big buff and debuff. Uh, and then the kind of sleeper would be the, the Red Woody. No, I'm sorry, Green Woody. Had to say Woody twice. And he's got the passive skill the Inertia Aura, and uh, might be the best, might be the best debuff in the game. It, he he completely controls everyone's uh, action bar. So he'll, 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 he swaps around action bars. He'll take the lowest action bar on your, uh, on your side and swap it with the highest on their side and do all kinds of things to speed your team up. So really well-designed team. Hard to, hard to get all the, the pieces of it together. But you'll, see, you'll notice at the very top. Now what, what you should be doing, if you don't know already, you should be going to your elite rank matches or your rank matches and go, go all the way to the top and see what the guys up top are using. I can't see all of the first place guys because we have different divisions and all, but I'm pretty sure that most everyone is going to have two or three of those four up there at the top. On screen, I have some. Uh, I have a different attack that I'm working on, and uh, we're actually in adventure on the very final uh, level of adventure, and on the first stage, which has those uh, the red scarecrows that do the the Thor's curse, and it, they just slaughter you if you're not careful. So, if you haven't got there yet, something to look forward to. Uh, anyway, we had talked about the meta a couple of videos ago. If you don't know what the meta is, meta basically just means the the most effective team available, and this is certainly one of the most effective teams available. Although there are several other teams in, in this game, you can't really say the meta is one team because there's so many good teams out there. You can get different colored teams that's all one you know the team's all one color because you can pick your opponent and your opponent's already got their defenses up there so you can kind of pick and choose what colors you want so i'm going to show a, a a good team in each of the three um colors too and on screen also on the right side i'm, I'm basically going through what what's being played on screen uh, i'm not going to read it because it's so much this is going to have a ton of information in this video so in the meta red team got red god of earth Red Nomad, Red Colonel. This is pretty pretty popular. You've seen this a lot, even in the mid game. And then, of course, the Little Red Ghost. The key here is the Red Colonel. She has to have the first attack, and she'll put a big defensive buff out there. You'll see a lot of people swapping out Red Colonel though with the second Red Ghost. And personally, I skip it. I'm not fighting someone with two Red Ghosts and a maxed out uh, Nomad and a maxed out <laughs> Red Colonel Earth because that's just like a slaughter really tough team to beat basically what happens is the the nomad will die real fast and the, the ghost will keep on bringing them back to life and you can't kill the nomad and they just beat the hell out of you now the green team is a lot harder to get all the pieces for it but you have the the green marionette she has a 40 percent attack boost for the whole that's her leader skill she's also got a bunch of multi attacks where she controls other players in your team then you have the the green prince one of the best overall partners in the game still and then you have what I think may still be the number one partner, which is Green Woody. No, not Woody. Tricky. Jeez, I suck today. Tricky, along with the Green Scarecrow, might be the most powerful just power team there is. And now you can go, you can switch the Green team to a to a speed team by by putting the Green God of Earth in, and then putting the Green Dragon Man in, 
and then using a shielder like the catfish or the or green sharky now the blue team it, this is a much more traditional team a lot of people think this is kind of like the lazy team but you, you have blue bape or blue colonel and then you'll have three nomads with them and if you get three maxed out nomads there it's tough to beat i know a lot of people have managed to get three nomads and they'll play it with with bape or they'll play it with the colonel now you're going to see this a lot more too you're going to see three nomads and then you're going to see uh the rockwell new a new partner just came out two weeks ago and uh, he's got a team shield, and he revives. Uh, he revives partners, and when they revive, when he revives them, they come back immune or invincible or something. Uh, he needs high speed, high hit point, and trust me on that. I tried to build him a different way, and he sucked. So, that being said, a lot of people complain a bit about uh, limited partners. They're really hard to get. You can get lucky. Uh, you can get. You get them. Uh, Every era we have a chance to get new partners, and then you also have a chance to get the older era partners. Uh, it, it, you, you can buy the first 10 turtles, it's the purple turtles, you can buy the first 10 with gems, but then after that you have to pay for them. Uh, it's the biggest part of the partner game, so a lot of people will invest a lot into this part of it, and then they don't get anything and they get upset. Well, if you don't have these partners, there are ways to get around it. There are some of the other partners that you can get easily. And you can still play with them and believe it or not. They're very effective. One of them is a tree man one of my favorite partners in the game uh, You see him here I've developed this team right here specifically to promote tree man in this elderberry attack of his You saw right there just did 144,000 attack damage uh, There's a new there's a new uh, cruel blade is what it's called And we'll just switch off the battle to go something else. Oh, I wanted to switch to this because this is probably the best overall attack I've done on the, the clan monster. It was 866 damage total. Oh, 866,000. Uh, this team is all debuff team that I have. Uh, leading off with the red Rudolph third awakened and she basically does poison debuffs every time. Uh, the tree man also does some kind of debuff. I think he does he slows uh, which enhances uh, Green Prince because he also slows and if he attacks someone that's slow He gets a better hit on him and then there's the marionette. She also does another debuff So you got uh, everyone in there's debuffing this thing as much as possible He just did another attack right there with 102,000 damage on that one. So and the cruel blade its Ability is very similar to the elderberry branch attack the elderberry branch is 50% more damage for every debuff the other team has so if they have 10 debuffs, he's 50% times 10, I guess. Uh, I don't know exactly the math on that. I don't want to figure it out right now. <laughs> but the Cruel Blade also it does 10% damage per debuff, and it's stackable. So if if that skill gets triggered by him, that's going to be stacked on top of the Elderberry Branch. And I, 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 I didn't get it this here, but if you notice all the debuffs up top, you notice there's a 40% attack boost from Rudolph. And here comes the Elderberry Branch from Red Tree. And there's 266,838 damage. That is a big smashing hit. That's what I feel like if I punch someone. Especially if you're a little girl or a little kid. <laughs> so 266,000 damage in a single attack from a two star partner. This is to inspire those without elite limited partners to keep you guys pushing forward. Look for the little hints in this game. They're all over the place. Look for the two and three star partners. There's all kinds of sneaky sleeper partners out there that you can replace some of these big heavy hitting uh, elite partners with until you get them because you're going to get them eventually. Just like I will. So anyway, appreciate everyone for watching. Leave me some messages. If you have, if anyone's got questions, ask questions. Other people can answer. Uh, help when you can. That's what, that's what it's all about. Try not to get zero by the Chinese, like I do. <laughs> Once again, I appreciate everyone for watching the video. Until next time, it's been easy. Take care, everybody. Oh, oh, one more thing. Next video, I'll have the second part of the Rockwell. I'm supposed to do that already, but uh, it's hard to get some green replays. I don't know. No one has them. So take care, everyone. This thing.